Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's tutorial we will be creating shape animations that you can use as a transitions, decorations and so much more. It's a simple tutorial that will make your videos look better and more appealing. And before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. And without any further ado, let's dive into After Effects and start creating this cool animation. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, hit on this little icon or control or command plus N on your keyboard and this is gonna be finally like usual. And for the width and height, let's go full HD 90, 20 by 10, 80, 30 frames per second and for the duration, I will go to around 10 seconds. Hit OK and now let's create our background, go right click to create solid, this is gonna be background solid layer 9020 by 1080 and then hit ok now go here in the effects and preset and if you can't find it just go window and you will find effects and presets here now let's type ramp effect drag and drop onto the background and let's make further adjustments for the start of the ramp go upper left corner for the end of the ramp lower right corner and for the second color let's go to almost black color like this and then hit OK. Now what we can do is to duplicate this background, hit Ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate. Let's rename this one to star burst. OK, go in the facts and preset and find star burst effect. OK, drag and drop onto the solid layer like this. And now let's make further adjustments for the start of the ramp. Let's go to maybe this type of color. Also for the second one, something like this. Hit OK and for the speed let's type here 0.05 OK and for the size instead of this 100 let's go to around 20 and now this is looking cool and awesome. Alright this is our first step and now let's create our shape. Hit G or find the pen tool go here and find it OK make sure to unselect everything and before that let's go and find here titles and action safe and let's draw a line like this. First point will be somewhere around here to go maybe to somewhere around here make sure that our stroke is set to 450 and fill is set to none and then let's rename this one shape layer 01 to mat okay and then open up here this little triangle open up this content shape one and then find here stroke and then also go here on taper and for the end length instead of zero let's type here 100 to get a shape like this okay now go here on add find trim path and let's animate this cool shape, open up like this, go to 2 seconds, set up the first keyframe for end 100% and then go to 0 seconds and type here also 0, ok, select both of the keyframes, hit F9, go to graph editor and then draw a curve like this, hit 0 and now as you can see we have an animation like this. Ok, now let's close the string pads and also close the taper and find here wave option and let's change here units from pixels to cycles and for the amount let's go to around 40% and now as you can see we have this cool wavy shape. Now let's animate phase parameter go to 0 frames set up the first keyframe then go to around 10 seconds and let's type here 1. Now hit 0 to see our preview animation and this is looking awesome. What we're gonna do next is to add repeater find here repeater ok open up this little triangle and for the copies let's go to around 8 open up transform repeater 1 and for the rotation let's go to around 45 now select this matte layer once again ok hit G on your keyboard and as you can see we can move this second point to maybe somewhere around here something like this play around here with the options and now hit zero again and as you can see our animation is looking cool. Okay now let's import our coffee video here inside our final composition below the matte shape layer okay and let's find for this coffee video track matte let's go loma matte and we're getting something like this. Now select this coffee video and matte and then go right click to pre-compose this is gonna be media plus matte Make sure to move all attributes into the new composition and then hit OK. Now what we can do is to duplicate this media plus matte, hit Ctrl plus D and for this lower one hit S for scaling, this is gonna be 110, ok, select this one, go in the facts and preset, find 
fill effect, drag and drop onto the lower one. And for this fill, let's change color to the scene colors to maybe something like this. Let's duplicate this one once again, hit control plus D. For this lower one, instead of 110, now we're gonna go to 120, select it again, and now let's also find another color here. Let's just play around. And now when we hit zero, we have this really cool and creative animation. In every moment you can go here, select this matte option, select G here or pen tool and reposition this one to find the suitable animation. Hit zero again and our animation is looking cool. Now let's go back here in the final composition, hit zero again and our animation is looking nice. We can duplicate this one as many times as we want, hit control plus D maybe once again. And for the bottom one, let's go to around 130 and change color to maybe this one. Now hit zero again and this is looking cool. Now what we can do is to go right click to create new adjustment layer. Okay, move it above all of the other layers, go into facts and preset and find glow effect, drag and drop. And here let's also play around with the glow option for the glow threshold, let's go to around maybe 80 or 90, somewhere around here. Glow radius, maybe to go to around five. Glow intensity, let's maybe lower down to 0.8. This is looking cool. Now select everything, right click, pre-compose. This is gonna be scene 01, hit okay. Hit S for scaling, let's go 103 to maybe somewhere around here. Now we can see this glow boundaries, open up again this scene 01 and you can also play even more with the glow radius and everything else until you're satisfied with the final results. Go here in the final, hit zero again and as you can see our animation is cool. Also for the final step you can add more effects like lens flare, light sweeps and so many more. Keep experimenting until you're satisfied with your own final results. Alright guys, that was everything for today's tutorial, I hope you enjoyed with this one, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe and like button, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. Take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials, and until next time, stay creative, and bye bye!